Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. And I found out that Apple won't be considering the use of RISC-V within the next five years. In fact, it won't even be looking at RISC-V for the next 10 years, probably even for the next 20 years. And I can prove it. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So as you are probably aware, SoftBank, which is the owner of ARM, is putting ARM up for an initial public offering uh, in the USA, and ARM has started to file the various documentation it needs to do to make that process happen. Now, it filed some documentation uh, a little while ago, and then yesterday it filed an amendment to that documentation that included some new information. And in that, it revealed that it assigned a new long-term agreement with Apple. The actual quote goes like this. We have entered into a new long-term agreement with Apple that extends beyond 2040, continuing our long-standing relationship of collaboration with Apple and Apple's access to the ARM architecture. Now, ARM has various types of licenses. So there are one type of license if you want to buy uh, the design for the Cortex-A78, just picking a random uh, CPU core, then you can say, uh, I'd like to sign a license agreement with you. There's all the business stuff goes on. And then as a chip manufacturer, they have access to that Cortex core, uh, whether it's an A core or an X core or whatever. But they also have what's called an architectural license. And this allows uh, companies to design ARM compatible processors without using any of ARM's designs. And that's what Apple has. Apple aren't the only company to have an architectural license. There are others, but Apple has one, which means that it can design ARM compatible CPU cores without referencing any of ARM's designs, just using its own designs. And it's been very successful at doing that. And I've talked about this a lot in other videos, both here and on the Android Authority channel. And so they need access to this architectural license. And what this uh, latest quote says in the IPO filing is that Apple has secured access to ARM's architecture until at least 2040. So that's 17 years. So you know, so maybe it's a 20 year deal. Uh, who knows? They're not giving I mean, once you're talking about something 17 years away, two decades away in computing. I mean, that's, you know, a lifetime. Just think about where we were, you know, in 2001 and 2002 compared to where we are today in terms of just all the technology that is around us. So beyond 2040, Apple are going to be using ARM. So what does this really mean? Well, it means several things. First of all, remember that Apple has been with ARM since the very beginning. In fact, ARM was started uh, with a joint venture between Acorn Computers, VLSI and Apple. Apple was an early uh, kind of investor in ARM and it's been with ARM ever since then. And it goes way back. Uh, the Apple Newton used an ARM processor, for example. And so clearly our Apple are staying the course. They've been with ARM since the beginning and they are sticking with ARM. It also means that Apple hasn't been tempted by all the hype around uh, RISC-V, all the promises that you don't have to pay license fees and the uh, ISA is uh, open. Well, just a couple of things to point out for that. One is that you do end up paying because if you want to say that your chip is RISC-V compatible, you actually have to pay various things to actually get that branding. But secondly, as I've said so many times, the license cost is insignificant compared to the R&D costs and to the manufacturing costs. I mean, it costs millions in R&D in terms of employees and buildings and heating and, and teams and all the stuff they want to do just to get these chips designed and then to get them manufactured also costs millions. So the licensing cost is actually very tiny compared to that whole thing. So RISC-V doesn't offer really any advantages in that sense. And also there aren't any implicit benefits from moving over to RISC-V. It's a risk uh, architecture. ARM is a risk architecture. And Apple, of course, have very much a, an influence over the direction of the ARM architecture because they are such this long-standing partner of 
uh, of ARM. And of course, ARM have several partners and they all get together to collaborate on what they think should be coming uh, down the pipeline. There's nothing intrinsic built into RISC V that makes it more performant or makes it better power efficiency or makes it lower cost. That's just not true. It's just an instruction set, just like ARM is an instruction set, just like x86 is an instruction set, just like Spark was an instruction set, just like Deck Alpha was an instruction set. There's just so many examples, MIPS, of instruction sets that we've had. And I've got lots of videos covering all those aspects uh, here on this channel. And the final thing to note, of course, this is a really clever moment to release this information just before the IPO, because that will kind of give investors this idea that there are big companies like uh, Apple who are really wanting to use this technology for up until 2040 and beyond. So that's a good sign that this isn't going to disappear. It's got some big backers, which of course is true anyway. But, you know, when an IPO comes around, you know, having these little things that you can write in the documents is actually uh, very, very useful. And talking of investors, part of the documentation that's been filed uh, with the SEC is who are the initial investors that are interested in buying shares. So who do you think is on that list? Well, of course, Apple's on the list. We've already talked about that. MediaTek's on the list. You'd expect them to be on there. Samsung's on the list. You'd expect them to be on there. But who else is on the list? NVIDIA's on the list. Of course they are because they even tried to buy ARM a little while back. So of course they're on the list. But so's Intel. Intel's on the list. AMD, AMD is on the list, TSMC is on the list, Google is on the list. These are all the major tech companies. They're saying, yep, we want a slice of that pie. We want to invest in ARM for the future. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so there we have it. Apple has declared it will be sticking with ARM until 2040 and beyond. I'd love to hear what you think about that in the comments below. I suppose I better say this since we are talking about an IPO. None of this is financial advice. and I'm not in any position to advise about shares or investment in any way whatsoever. Okay, don't forget you can follow me on social media. All of the interesting and not so interesting handles are here on the screen. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.